Hi, everybody. It's been a long time. Again, it's been a long time. Uh, so, for those of you who are brand new to this, my name is Kelly, and I run CheapDreamery.com. You can find me online at CheapDreamery.com. I am on Ravelry as CheapDreamery and YouTube and uh, what's that one? Twitter and uh, uh, Instagram. I'm usually on Instagram, even though it doesn't seem like it. I am on Instagram. Um, yeah, mostly there. So, um, anyway, I sell hand dyed yarn. I do. You just haven't seen it for a while. Um, and I have more to say about that. I have many more things to say today. Um, but I think it's still going to be like really fast, even though. Sorry, my eyes are going. Hello. My face is making me crazy. I look insane. I look like I ordered a gin lover's pizza. My glasses are completely off kilter. Oh my gosh. Just set it and forget it. Um, okay. That's one of the great things about not recording all the time is that every time you come back and you look at your face, you just hate it even more. Um, so hi. Hello. Who's so pretty? Who's a pretty lady? I'm a pretty lady. I'm a pretty lady. Um, so, a lot going on. A lot happening. I think I mentioned last month that I was newly employed. I am still employed. I am working for the lovely, talented, respected, spinner by the name of Abby Frankamont, who wrote the book called Respect the Spindle. And she is actually gone this week. She is at SAF, which is Southern Appalachian Fiber Festival. It's in North Carolina. Or is it in South Carolina? It's in a Carolina in the mountains. And she's teaching people in um, and last week she was at Rhinebeck, teaching people in the mountains there. Although I don't really consider those mountains, they're kind of just hilly. I don't know. It wasn't until I saw the Rocky Mountains that I really understood how much more mountainy things could be compared to mountains on the East Coast. Um, so like now I just think of a lot of mountains as hills. I wasn't quite so snobby about mountains until that trip. I'm very snobby about them now. A lot of things are just hills. And living here in Cincinnati, Ohio, there are hills. And there are some hills that are called Mount. And people would have to take um, these trolley, what the hecks, you know, when you're going skiing, what the heck's cable cars? They would have to take cable cars from one mountain to the other. Mountains. Anyway, um, let's see. So I'm working for Abby at Stringtopia, which is in Lebanon, Ohio. And if you're thinking about, oh, I really think I should go to some kind of interesting retreat sometime, and you spin then you should really consider going to the spring string thing that will be sometime next spring, next year, in Lebanon, Ohio. And there are tons of awesome teachers. Um, of course, Abby's a teacher, and Beth Smith is a teacher, and she usually has a couple other things. Oh, Carol Sukowski. I love her. Um, I took a class with her. She's nice. Um, 
she teaches classes, so when I have more information about that, I'll talk about that. But just keep it in mind, keep it in mind, in case, like, you were planning on taking time to go to a retreat next year, you were like, that year is going to be my retreat year, I'm going to go somewhere, I'm going to do something, and then you were put on a wait list. Womp womp. Uh, should not be a problem with the spring string thing. Should not be a problem. Um, it's held in a very fancy hotel called the Golden Lamb. Um, every presidential candidate comes by and gets their mug taken there for the most part. Although I noticed that they don't yet have a Barack Obama room. Let's just say I'm living in a red state. And Lebanon's in a red town. In a red county. A county, by the way, which um, did a bit of finagling during a certain election to ensure that a certain person was elected president. Anyway, y'all don't want to hear my conspiracy theories. They might not be theories. They might just be true. Um, but that's that. I'm working at the Stringtopia, learning to string. I participated in Spinzilla, and I spun just over a mile, which I don't know. I could have done more. I don't know. Um, we had like a seminar the day before uh, Spinzilla where Abby taught us how to spin faster. And I actually was spinning more. I was being more productive with my spinning. But it still just was not enough. Especially compared to other people. But don't be down, clown. Um, I did my best. And hey, I spun a mile, and I've only been spinning on my wheel since, what, May? June? June? October? So less than six months, so that's my little pat on the back. This is my hug. My hug myself. Um, so, I will be teaching a knitting class at Stringtopia during the month of November. If you are interested in that, please sign up. I'm sure anybody watching this right now already knows how to knit and really doesn't need me helping them out. Um, I'll also be teaching a class to show people how to use Ravelry. Um, perhaps you have no idea how to use Ravelry. Perhaps you're really terrible at finding cute patterns for yarn that you already have. Uh, I'm going to help you. Although I must say that the team at Ravelry is getting a lot better at showing people how to actually use the site. They're not just leaving the guesswork to the roving rubes. Good for them. Good for them. I'm sure all three million of those Ravelry users are really psyched about it. All three million. I'm sure there are no sock puppets. There are no sock puppets on Ravelry. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Um, okay, what else? What else? What else? I am going to Knitten in the Mitten, the knitting retreat held by Coggy TM of the High Fiber Diet podcast, and that's going to be in Grand Haven, Michigan, in like two weeks. I gotta get my act together. I actually still have yarn to dye, believe it or not. Yarn that I did not get dyed for um, another retreat I had been planning on going to, and then things went kaput. Um, so yeah, I have yarn to dye this weekend. I have, I have, I have yarn to dye. I have yarn to label. I have yarn to mail. Um, I owe people some mail. 
I apologize very, very much. Um, last week our car broke down. That was fun. That was great. It made me very happy to not be able to go anywhere for a week. It's really great when your car breaks down and you only have one car for the entire household. It's awesome. You get so much done. You get so much done. The dog loves it. More walks for her. Hey! Uh, so. Where was I going? Okay, I am going to Michigan. And they're going to call for snow that week. So, my plan, which I planned months in advance, is to rent an SUV so that if it snows, I should be prepared for Michigan snow. Plus, <laughs> I went over the list of... Um, things that you should bring for the high fiber diet, knitting in the mitten retreat, and like on the list is bring a chair, bring an ottoman, bring a lamp, bring a table, <laughs> and um, I'm gonna need an SUV to fit all of that, plus the yarn to uh, to go. So I'm doing that. And, and I didn't realize this when I was signing up. I had, I had like no full comprehension. Um, I'm going to be sleeping in a bed with a stranger. Hmm. So I will be sleeping with, um, her name is Amy, she's on Ravelry as Lilith Knitting, and we're going to be sharing a bed. So I sent her a message on Ravelry last night, I was like, uh, are you ready to sleep with me? I told Kagi all about my sleeping, uh, they're not even quirks, they're danger zones. I've got danger zones. Oh look, I've got fiber all over me. Um, I've got danger zones. I shouldn't be sleeping with anybody. I mean, I don't sleep with my husband. We don't even sleep in the same room. I have my own personal room. I'm not meant for sleeping with people. So I've already apologized in advance to her. I asked her what I could bribe her with so that she doesn't tell anybody how horrible I am. Except I'm telling all of you right now. I'm horrible. I drool, I talk, I yell, I scream. Nobody should be in bed with me. I might just sleep on the floor. I think that might be for the best. Because, really. Ugh. Plus, I don't go to sleep until like 7 o'clock in the morning. So, run till that. Alright, I'm taking these off for a minute because my eye is bugging me. So, all in all, I'm very excited to do this. I'm very excited to be able to go and meet a lot of my favorite people. A lot of my favorite people. Um, it's going to be a blast. It's going to be a good time. I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait to just snuggle with people. Lock your doors, or I'll come in and hug you in the night. This kind of face. Um, so, yeah, it should be interesting, because we're staying in a lodge, and it's on Lake Michigan, so uh, I'm guessing if it snows, we're going to get lake effect snow. Really glad I planned for an SUV for this because there's no way my little tiny car would make it through whatever Michigan has in store for me. I just know it. I just know it. Okay, so 
after I get back from Michigan in selling yarn at Mitten in the Mitten, I am going to be opening my store back up. There will be yarn for sale. The reason why I'm not doing it right now, frankly, is because I'm lazy. Um, I have a lot of yarn, <laughs> and I've got a lot of yarn to dye, and I still have to label everything, and I'm lazy, so I'm waiting till I sell some stuff, and then there are less pictures that I have to take for the store site when I come back. Um, so that'll be, that'll be a good time. Um, yeah, my husband's going to build a store for me and that's, that's what that's going to be. Okay. All right. Talked about Stromtopia, Knit and Mitten. And, uh, today I did confirm that I will be attending another retreat. It will be in June of next year, and it will be at Zombie Apocalypse. Yes, I will go next year. My husband will not have anything terrible happen to him next year during the time that I need to be gone. Let's just say it that way. Um, so, yes. I will be selling my yarn, and I will be an attendee. So I'm pretty psyched about that. Um, of course, when I attend Mitten, or when I attend the Zombie Apocalypse, I will be staying in a room all by myself, all by myself, encapsulated only to me, only to me. Um, nobody else is going to have to put up with me. I'm not going to have to bribe anyone. And um, I'm really looking forward to it. I, I'm really bummed that I missed it this summer. Um, I was really looking forward to it. Um, but... There were other things that were more important, and yes, is my husband better? Mm -mm. No. Are we signed up for the Affordable Health Care Act? Not yet. Um, <laughs> he tried si signing up, and they wanted a password from him. Apparently, he signed up with a password, and he can't figure out what the password was. So now we're waiting to find out what the password was. So, after we find out what the password is, we might be on the right path. Um, I mean, I already have health insurance. I'm covered, and it's 900 bucks a month. You know, I could have a really nice Mercedes for that amount of money. <sighs> but, <coughs> instead, I have my health uh, so, all right, so I'm going to Knitting in the Mitten, I'm going to Zombie Knit Apocalypse, and I'm going to have a yarn store soon. Um, I can't think of anything else I was going to talk about off the top of my head. I have not written down anything in weeks, and actually, I haven't been watching video casts or podcasts for a long time. Although I did kind of read here and there on Ravelry and other places that some of my blip friends are getting the boot. Um, so I'm sorry to hear that, you guys. And I hope that you can find workarounds and that they don't cost too much for you guys. Or it's affordable. You weigh out the odds and decide... It's worth it to pay for it, to keep the rest of us entertained. Right? Right. So, um, bum, 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 bum. um, 
Oh! I did have one of the greatest days of my life last month. It was fantastic. Um, if you watch this on YouTube, then you can go to my YouTube channel and see what I saw. Um, the last week of September, whatever that Sunday was, I went to the Cincinnati, um, it's got the train station there, Children's Museum, they've got like all their museums crammed into just this one building. Um, and growing up in Maryland, I'm very, 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 very spoiled when it comes to museums uh, because you can go to all the Smithsonian ones for free. Um, so when I came to Cincinnati and they were like, you have to pay to go into the zoo. You have to pay to go into each museum. I was just kind of completely dumbfounded. Um, but, okay. So, it's my Coheed and Cambria talk. <laughs> A lot of you really don't care. And that's okay. I'm sure you love Mumford and Sons or something lame like that. And I don't care about that. So, <laughs> bye. But, um, yes. I went to Comic Con a few weeks previous to the concert and I was able to get my name on the list for a private concert with one Mr. Claudio Sanchez and his wife, Johnny. Um, and so it was held at the Cincinnati Museum Center and the Cincinnati Museum Center, the architecture of that building was the base for the 1974 animated production of superheroes and friends. You know, it's Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, all them kinds of good people. Um, so, yes, Cincinnati Museum is Hall of Justice. That's what they based it on, is that museum. Okay, so we got that. Then we got Claudio Sanchez performing in there. And it was a very, very, very small concert. There were maybe, maybe a hundred people. Maybe. Not more than that. Not more than a hundred. And I was in the second row. And I was not the oldest person. Thank God. I was not the oldest woman. There was a gray-haired lady front and center. So, I didn't feel anywhere near as dorky as I could have. And it was a very, very lovely and intimate concert. They did, well, they did five songs. And then they did a question and answer session about their comics. And so, it was very nice. And then after the concert was over, I stood in line so that I could talk to the best guitarist in the world. And if you go to my Instagram, you can see a very, very, very short video where Mr. Sanchez tells my son to play me a song for my birthday. Because every year I tell my kids, all you have to do is play Welcome Home on the guitar for me for Christmas. You don't have to buy me anything. All you have to do is play some music. They're like, Mom, that's the toughest song in the world. I'm like, I don't care. That's the song I want to hear. Just play it. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens. I haven't done it yet. And I did have my birthday the other week. I'm old. Or I was a 40 Brie. 40 Brie. 40 Brie. I'm old. 
I'm finally starting to accept this. Maybe, maybe my doctors are right. Maybe I should stop thinking about putting a baby in me. After a while, you get to a certain age where you're like, yes, all my children are grown and in their 20s, but I think I'd like to pop another one out. Um, I probably should just get another dog. So, anyway, that's me rambling. Rambling on and on. Rambling on and on. Um, so I will cut it short and I won't even say I'll see you next week. I don't even know if I'll say I'll see you next month because a month from now it's like Thanksgiving and Hanukkah on the same, they're like right next to each other. You get your turkey, get your eight days of lights. So I'm going to be a busy lady. But maybe, maybe I'll take my MacBook Air to uh, Mitten in the Mitten and get some other ladies to uh, sit in with me while I talk. And maybe you'd like to hear them ramble more than you'd like to hear me ramble. Or at least they can, like, choke me and go, shut up, Callie, shut up. So, anyway... Y'all have a great week, great month. Enjoy your Veterans Day, your Halloweens, your pumpkin chunkins, etc. I'll talk to you later.